District 5 in northern Minnesota includes the western portion of Itasca County, all of Cass County, and a small portion of southeastern Beltrami County. Democrat Rita Albright of Bemidji is one of the challengers in the district. Hi, I'm Rita Albright, running for State Senate District 5. I grew up in northern Minnesota. Together with my husband, Mike, we raised two kids in Bemidji and made our life here. We have five grandchildren. I decided to run for Senate District 5 because like others, I've been disappointed with the lack of cooperation at the legislature. I've seen how the inability to agree in St. Paul negatively affects our communities. I've gained a lot of experience living and working in Northern Minnesota. I've been a business owner and I know the challenges of finding workers, making payroll and paying taxes. I've been a planner at the local and regional and state level and a tribal planner at Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe. I recently retired as the Northwest Region Director for the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. I was elected mayor of Bemidji in 2014 and I'm now serving my fourth term. My background has given me a broad understanding of our region. My experience has shown me that leadership is about listening, bringing creative ideas to the table and finding solutions. We have to say yes to good ideas that move our communities forward. That's the leadership and experience I will take to the Capitol. As your state senator, I'll focus on what we value most in Northern Minnesota. Good paying jobs, quality education and job training programs, the healthcare people need, and protecting our outdoor heritage. I've been visiting with voters across the district and they're concerned about the future. To be successful, our businesses need to know that they can find qualified workers, have access to safe roads, and reliable broadband. Our communities need support to make sure they have resources for utility infrastructure and public safety to serve their residents. Workers and families want to know that they can find safe housing, affordable health care, and a quality education for their kids. Everyone wants to make sure that we are transitioning to clean energy and leaving a bright future for our grandchildren. We are in uncertain times right now, but as Northern Minnesotans, I know that our community, we will face our challenges head on. What living through a crisis is showing us is that we need each other. When we come together, we can persevere through anything. When we are divided, we all suffer. We need leadership that bridges divides instead of making them deeper. While there are sure to be tough times still ahead, I believe together we can pull through because Northern Minnesotans are tough and we look out for our neighbors. Minnesotans work hard every day and we expect our legislators to work hard for us. I will not shy away from the difficult challenges we are facing. And as your Senator, I will show up, do the work and collaborate with local leaders to find solutions. That's the hope and optimism that I will take to the state Senate. We need to bring our best selves to get Minnesota back on track. I'm Rita Albright, running for Senate District 5. Please check out our campaign at RitaForSenate.com. I'm asking for your vote. Thank you for your support. Also running in Senate District 5 is Legal Marijuana Now Party candidate Robin Smith, who did not submit a video for this program. Also running in this district is Dennis Barsness of the Grassroots Legalized Cannabis Party. Hi, I'm Dennis Barsness and I'm candidate for Senate District Seat 5. I'm a lifelong resident of Itasca County and a father of two. I currently do work as a PCA, that's personal care assistant, and I am a pastor of a small Christian fellowship called His Spirit Fills Us. I grew up on a small farm and I've spent my life working hard in various industries, including the mining and the logging industry and various healthcare fields, as well as have small business ventures. The reason I'm running for office is I believe uh, the whole political system is taking advantage of us as a people, and we need candidates willing to be people candidates, not candidates for the corporations. There's a lot of issues going on this year with the pandemic, uh, the race riots, uh, the, the unemployment rates being through the roof, the, the economy in the shape that it's in, the always needing better healthcare in the system. 
there's just too much to get into right now. But I'm willing to address all those issues. I'm willing to sit down and to talk about people and to take to the front what the people desire and what the people need, not what corporations tell us that we should have. I'm not bought off and I'm not paid off. I'm willing to go out there and be a candidate and to be a senator with integrity that's willing to go to the limit for the people. If you look at me in just a couple of different aspects of just the uh, my Christianity tells you that I care for people. God says that we should love and to love always. If you look at my work ethic, you'll see that various, the various ventures I've been in, I fix things, I clean up messes, and I take care of it in a timely fashion. I'm not afraid to roll up my sleeves and get my hands dirty. I grew up working and I intend to stay working for the people throughout my terms as a supervisor for the conservation district and I, as a senator when you put me into the office. Thank you. The incumbent in Senate District 5 is Republican Justin Eichhorn of Grand Rapids. Hi, I'm your state Senator Justin Eichhorn. I was born and raised right here in Itasca County. My wife Brittany and I have four wonderful young children and I'm running for re-election to fight for families like yours and mine. I love Northern Minnesota and want our families to be able to stay here for generations to come. To make sure that is a possibility, we need to have good jobs, good schools, and a thriving economy. For the last four years, I have been fighting for our way of life in St. Paul, and with your blessing, I would like to continue to serve you. I'm pro-life from conception until natural death. As someone who grew up in an outdoor store, I know just how important the Second Amendment is to keeping our country and our community safe and free, and how important the Second Amendment is for our northern Minnesota economies. I support good union jobs in our mining and forestry industries, and projects like Line 3 and Polymet that are great for northern Minnesota, and the government needs to get out of the way after those projects have been properly vetted and received their permits. I stand for lower taxes, less government, and more freedom for all Minnesotans. We need a strong advocate for Northern Minnesota to fight for what is best for our communities, and I am your guy. In my tenure in the Minnesota Senate, Senate Republicans stopped a 20 cents per gallon gas tax, numerous anti-mining and pipeline laws, post-birth abortion, and many other far-left ideas like the Green New Deal for Minnesota, and we're currently fighting against California emission standards that would take away our SUVs and F-150s. We passed the first middle-class tax cut in decades to help families like yours and mine, the largest education budget in our state's history, and fought to make health insurance and prescription drugs more affordable for all Minnesotans, all while making sure that pre-existing conditions are always covered. We are still fighting to eliminate the income tax on social security for our seniors, we preserved billions in highway funding and worked hard to make sure that that money is spent on road and bridge projects outside of the metro. I chief authored Senate File 793 that allocated funds to allow more outdoor education in our schools, including firearm safety, archery, and hunting education. With your support, I will continue to fight for you and our Northern Minnesota way of life. Whether you are voting early or heading to the polls on November 3rd, I need your vote.